Oh, beautiful. Oh my God, dude. All right, so today we're back at Sterling Forest after two years. And yesterday I just graduated college with my mechanical engineering bachelor's degree, even though I still have a project due in a couple days after my graduation. But uh, I'm super excited to check out this new trail at Sterling Forest, Augusta Mine or something like that. And uh, I don't think it's fully done yet, but we should be able to get a good bit of it in and then probably do some hike a bike to get back out of it or climb it up, whatever it is. It's a Monday, so I don't anticipate much traffic. Only two other cars in the parking lot. Um, but yeah, I'm just super excited to get back here because I loved this park the last time I was here and uh, it's a beautiful day today. All right, so we're gonna do the counterclockwise segment to get over to Augusta Mine. But I plan on riding the whole loop clockwise since last time and my last video, I rode it counterclockwise. And supposedly it is great both ways. Oh, this is sick. <sighs> Have I ever mentioned how much I love rock? Saw they did a lot of machine work to get this trail going. Oh, looks like there's some nice flow coming back down as well. Okay. Creek gap. All right, so far, pretty easy trail. I guess it is a little green, even though I think on trail forks it was blue, but these stickers on the trees are yellow and green. All right, we're climbing back up the other side of Augusta Mine, so we're gonna get some new descent going in reverse. That's what's great about this place is all the trails run really well either direction. And look at this weird rock ledge with some murky water here. Super cool. Just ride right past it. Trail's right here. All right, let's get to the rest of the Augusta Mine Trail and shred down. The Augusta Mine Trail was pretty cool. Definitely more of like a green flow trail with some like optional blue stuff. Hoping to find some more technical stuff on the clockwise version of the uh, full loop. So let's get back on the trail. I love rocks. I love them. Come here, rocks. Oh. Yes, dude. Oh. All right, if anyone remembers from the first time I was at Sterling Forest, my friend Ryan did this rock roll, which is pretty steep, pretty uh, consistent slope down, and it's got a decently hard G out at the bottom, and trail doesn't really go that way, trail goes this way. But uh, I just noticed that there's another rock up here that's uh, kind of like half the size, and uh, I think I'm gonna do it. So it'd be pretty cool to get this one and take it off the list. Just channel our inner Squamish rock slab riding. A lot of front brake. Well, I almost just stuffed myself into that rock. Super easy. Sweet. That was so easy. Let's go. I'm super stoked with that. That was really not scary at all, which Shows some huge progression since last time I was here. I think there are much more difficult rolls at Blue Mountain that I've done. Oh, up the rock, up the rock. Nice. Oh, sweet rock right here. Touch the rock for good shredding luck. Oh. 
go wide up and over the top oh yeah this section is sick climb the spine roll in another roll in get over here little endo drop in oh it's grippy oh it's grippy Oh, oh my god, dude. That's nutty. Took the wrong line, though. Let's go. Absolutely chuffed to bits with that one. That was a scary one. Grab some gears. Oh man, this section is sick. <laughs> if you like this place, you should definitely check out Marley Sarnoski in Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Very similar vibe. A little free hop. It's interesting, what kind of bike would you ride here to get the most out of it? I feel like the down country bikes are really good for this. Because you just get into some crazy technical sections like this. Where you bomb into some rocks and you want some actual aggressive geometry. But it's so pedally that you need some something sprightly under your legs. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Nice and easy. Track it wide. What's up here? Oh. Wow. Dude. This place is awesome. All right, now we get to go downhill. Oh, beautiful. Kidding me? <laughs> oh my God, that's steep. Let's go. First try. That is all folks. Definitely should have worn gloves, but didn't want to. And I paid the price. Anyway, that was a pretty sick ride. 
gonna head home and stay in some traffic and uh hopefully you enjoyed watching and remember stay venturing my friends